pew, pew. There are plenty of bad products out there. Some don't work very well, some are built poorly, and some cost too much, but it's not too often that you find a product that's flat out dumb. This is the pink iPhone gun case. If you're into great deals on tech that isn't dumb, check out dealhunter.tech. It's a website I created to provide easy access to great deals on tech. I update it daily and only post deals on tech I can actually recommend, link down below to go check it out. Right now I would mention any features that aren't dumb about this product, but every single feature about this product is dumb. Except, well if you consider price a feature, it's not that dumb, you can get it for like $5 on eBay right now. I actually picked mine up on Amazon a few months ago, but it's no longer on Amazon. Probably because it's an iPhone case shaped like a gun. It is still on eBay, so I'll leave a link down below if for whatever reason you want a case shaped like a gun. I don't recommend you buy one, but if you want one, you know, the link's down below. Reason number one, this is dumb, is protection. You know, it, it's a case. It's supposed to protect the phone. That's its number one functionality as a case. That's why you buy a case, and it does protect it on the back. So if you drop it on the back, it's just gonna hit this plastic part. Won't be hurting your phone too much. But on the front, the edges don't actually go over the phone, so if you drop this thing face down, it would still be a face down crack on your screen. The full impact of the ground would hit your screen unless it hits the handle of the gun. Uh, so it fails at its one purpose of protecting your phone as a case. Reason number two is shape and size, and this has to do with like walking around with it and putting it in your pocket. This case makes the pretty small iPhone 5 or iPhone SE if you're into that. Uh, it makes that little phone really big and bulky, so normally you'd be able to slip that into basically any pocket, but now you got this huge hunk of plastic, and if you put it in your pocket, you got a nice gun handle sticking out, so it really takes everything away from the small form factor of an iPhone 5 or iPhone SE, and makes it big, bulky, and inconvenient to take around. Reason number three is functionality. This case actually impedes your ability to use the phone properly. Now this isn't a functioning phone, so I can't actually show you me using the phone, but if I was to hold it like a regular phone, the handle's just in the way of my hand. You can't text on it. The buttons, you have to like reach around to click any buttons. It just, it, everything gets in the way of what you want to do. Uh, I guess if you're calling somebody, you can kind of hold it up like that. And it's still kind of like weird because you're tilting it back a lot. But the biggest thing is if you're typing on your phone, you've got this big handle in your way and you're like stretched out across trying to type. It just doesn't work out. So yeah. Reason number four is law enforcement. I guarantee if you take this as your phone through airport security, you'll be taken to another room, stripped down and patted down and checked. Not something you want, at least it is colored pink, so you know, at face value, it doesn't look extremely dangerous. Of course, airport security would definitely pull you aside with something shaped like this in your pocket, uh, but at least it is pink. You could spray paint it black if you're trying to get yourself arrested um, because it is plastic, so any plastic bonding paint will work. But with a case shaped like a gun, certain law enforcement, like airport security or a police officer, will think it's a gun. Reason number five is it broke. After two days of very light use and testing, it's already broken. This trigger right here used to make an awesome trigger clicking noise. Clip playing that clicking noise right now. As you can see, that's a very addicting noise. It's something you just want to sit there going click, 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 click for a long period of time. And uh, it broke. I was just pressing the trigger a bunch of times and it stopped working. And now if you shake it, you can actually hear something rattling around in there. So bonus feature of this episode, we're going to open it up, not only see what's inside, but also see if we can fix it and make that trigger work again. All right, so I have the pink iPhone gun case and an iFixit screwdriver kit. Uh, as you can see here, I'll hold it up to the camera. There you go. Uh, it's just a bunch of very small Phillips heads in there, so if I just get a small enough Phillips head head, I can unscrew them and it should be a pretty simple disassembling process. Let me take the phone out. After lots of intense research, you can see that it's actually broken. Oh, yep, yeah, definitely broken right there. And that's the paddle that the uh, piece of plastic would hit against to make that clicking noise. So never again will this case click. And I was actually gonna order another one off of Amazon with like one day shipping to do this video, but it's no longer on Amazon. So I didn't wanna wait like three weeks for it to ship from China off of eBay. So I just went ahead and did the video. I still had the footage of it clicking, so I wasn't really worried I could still show that. It's just kind of sad that it will never click again. And honestly, I'm not even gonna bother putting these screws back in. I'm just gonna throw it out. 
Thank you for watching, subscribe to see more content, and as always, stay classy.